Good morning, modern steaders. It's another nice, brisk 50 degree morning this morning. Uh, here we are, the middle of July, and it's already getting cold. Morning, pigs. I gotta change the battery in the fence, huh? Yep. It's time to change that battery. Morning, girls. Girls ready for some breakfast? You ate a lot of your hay. Let's put it over there. You waiting? These brisk mornings remind me that winter is right around the corner. <laughs> It's gonna be here before we know it, guys. We need to get on top of a wood storage system this year. Gotta get the barn finished built, we get the goats in there, and we'll get some new critters coming in a couple of weeks. And we gotta stop building the wood storage shed. Always something to do. It's winter come on fast where you live. Seems like we're always in a race, trying to get stuff done for winter. I noticed with Willow, her milk production was dropping off and I was thinking the kids were nursing off of her when they were separated. I don't think that's the case. I think she was drying herself off because she wasn't having her kids nursing her. Now that her kids are back on nursing her, her milk production is back up. That didn't sound good. What are the goats doing out there, huh? Willow, what are the girls up to? I don't think they're no good. Thank you, Willow. Tomorrow we're gonna bring out a bigger jar. Her milk production keeps going up every day now. We got two cups here today, so tomorrow we might have over two cups. Where have you been, huh? You snoozing? Oh, I see old CWC. She's been hanging out and waiting for us at NYC. I can't go over how thick the moss is in some areas of this part of the pasture. Chickens have been working are pretty good, but that's all moss, but it's still loaded. They're gonna be working in here for a while, guys. You kiddos ready to get moved? Huh? Want some fresh grass? Started on the trim work today on the goat side. I want to get the fascia boards up, the shadow boards up, and I'd like to get the windows framed up today. That's the goal. And then if we can start getting some batten strips up, that'd be even better. All right, these are all the trim boards we're going to need today. We need the fascia boards and then the shadow boards. The start off for the day should be under here. Oh, there was a mouse nest in there, guys. Not cool. Not cool. All right, so first we need three 208s. We want two 12,000s and one 14,000. So we have a 208 12,000 right here. I like that. Set that one up here. I must admit, I'm starting to feel the pressure. We got some new animals coming in about a week and a half to two weeks and they need to go where the goats are right now. We gotta get this done to get the goats in. 
And <sighs> we gotta start working on our firewood for the year. Whew. Go with that. Should be one more. The last 12,000 is right here. We need right here. I wanna see how wide our boards are. Seven and three quarters, eight and a quarter. Being rough sawn lumber, they're always gonna be a little bit different width. All right, so eight and a quarter is the widest. So I wanna mark and put a reference point for eight and a quarter. We'll drop our fascia boards all down to eight and a quarter so the bottoms all line up. And then the shadow board will cover up the little bit of the spacing. I have to have all of the bottom widths looking the same. Then I rather have them all at eight, if that makes sense. Let's see. This is gonna come to me a tad. I'm not gonna be able to put a clamp down this end. So let's put a screw in to rest that piece of trim on. Let's do this. I like it. Okay, now we need to stop working it up. I'm gonna need a piece of two by or something to push that end up. See what length ish we're gonna need. All right, at least six feet long. Leverage is our friend. Perfect. Take that out. It stayed perfect. You want to hold the tape measure on the bottom of that board? Yeah. Well, that went a lot faster, having an extra set of hands. Perfect. We want it tight up against the tin. Are you tight? Yep. All right. And we'll get a measurement. We're gonna need 90 and a quarter, okay. 90 and a quarter. Can you mark it on the inside, right where that other board touches it? Both of them or one? Yeah, mark both of them. I goofed, guys, so I am going to fix it. I'll tell you about it in a minute.
what I should have done here is I should have put the shadow board on after I did this board. So I had to make a little bit of a notch here. All right, let's get this shadow board up. You want to hold the back end. No, it's good. Out of nails. Look at that. Oh, I'm glad the nail fairy brought these the other day. Right, let me go up with your end just for a minute. I get that, but. I'm gonna have you pull it back down after. Okay. I'm not tall enough. So cool. Grab a stick behind you. There you go. Come down with your end for a minute. Down. Down, 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 down. There we go, All right? How, how, push it up for a minute and see if we're flush on your end. Yeah. Okay. That's actually good right there. Here. I like it. You want to hold this just like right there, right on that mark, right where it is. I just gotta trim a little bit of this off. We have a nice window opening. I'm gonna pull it tight so you got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. I wanna leave the line on this one. <laughs> Here's some of the window trim. Right, let's grab a clamp. And a square. Yeah, you want to come nail it? I'll hold it. Alright, let's get this piece up. Or flush there. How are we here? Aha, nice and flush. I like it. I like it, guys. I like it. Perfect. So now we need a piece 56 and a quarter. And I need it to be one inch. One inch. All right. So we'll get the table saw out and we'll rip one down. making some man glitter. <laughs> what do I always tell you? I'm not making a mess. I'm making man glitter. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like glitter. Man or women. Man or women glitter. Or You're not a fan. Get 
this little piece filled in because that would drive me bonkers. Let's get this side installed. Okay, like that. Okay, just put one nail in each corner. Last nails. Well, the trim worked anyways. Right, let's measure our trim length for here. Sixty-eight inches deep. I like putting screws where the two boards meet. I find it gives it a better hold over the long run. Can get a measurement for down here. It's going to be 68 again. Perfect. And I'm straightening that out as we go. Okay, here and here. I get that started. You want to finish it? I'll tell you when. Okay, go. For it. Yep. Perfect. What do you think of the gray color versus the yellow? I like the gray. I think we got to figure out how to get the whole barn gray. I don't think that'll be like a fall project. I think we need to get it all aged looking. That'd look awesome. You don't want to wait for it to happen. No, I don't want to wait the years. I like that board. Now the question is, do we want to hang the windows or do you want to get the strips up? Want to get the windows in? All right, let's go get them. Hey, I think that's our bulk ground beef order from farm food markets. You think that's what it is? Yeah, we're open up so we can put it away. You gotta get it in the freezer. We had a nice sale going on for 20 pounds of ground beef. Perfect. Look at that. Organic grass-fed Angus beef. Boom. Nails. There it is. It's the kit 
for the windows. It's so convenient getting our grass-fed beef shipped right to our door by FedEx. <laughs> uh, comes packaged all up. I'll have a link in the description down below for farmfoodmarkets.com. And there's a promo code for 10% off your order. Uh, we're going to be eating some good grass-fed burgers this week, guys. Here are the windows. I get some windows. It's going to look nice. And the glazing goes outside. Two and a half inches to the edge, and then we'll put the third one in the center there. And what is center? 48, so 24. Oops. There we go. Get them all pre drilled first. Who's gonna wash these windows? They're covered in man glare, that's perfect. No, they're gonna get cleaned. <sighs> Hopefully they fit. All right, so we wanna even them. Oh, so do you have another thing that you put over that? Like another nope. trim? This trim that goes inside, but nothing outside. Okay, inside, so it won't, you won't see through it though. Correct. But hold this like this. I'm gonna go get a, something to raise it up. Get some shims. I want to make sure we want to make sure we have an even gap all the way around. And right now we have no gap on the bottom. I'm scared. I'm scared. Don't be scared. I don't, oh, what if it falls in? It's not gonna fall in. pretty even. Even Steven. This side needs to go up. All right, I like that. You like them? Yeah. And we'll have to finish up the inside, but let's get the other window hung first. Get our window sills installed. So I think we're gonna like this. Yeah. Yep. You wanna grab the nail gun? Careful by the window. Alright. One here and one here. Size with you. 
go for it. All right, you wanna put this piece, nail this piece, and I'll go get one more. I like that right there, yeah, it's nice and flush. Top one up first. Hello, ice cream. Moose tracks. I don't got moose tracks. I got goat tracks. How, push that window shut. Good? Cool. You can come in here and nail this. I got your air protection. Yeah, so I can't nail it. I'll give you it. It is warm. Woo hee! So if we go center, it should be 24 and a quarter. Right there. And then I want to go. Thank you. I would stink if I drew right through that glass. Oh yeah. And shatter it. So this will lock it open. And now you got the other eye. If you want to go outside and put pressure on it, I'll figure out where the next eye goes. Okay, so now I want to figure out. I see you. Man glitter. I do? Yeah. That sounded good. You asked. All right, I gotta open the window a bit. There we go. Bada boom, bada bang. I like it. Boom. Olivia's off at camp, so I'm on afternoon chores by myself. I don't have a helper. Man. There you are. Hey, CWC. You goats need some more hay? I bet they do. There we go. They've been eating a lot of that apple tree bark. Buttercup don't want you getting in there, little man. Nope, she don't. Bless you. Is that some good hay there, Buttercup? I must say, I'm liking the looks of it all trimmed out. 
and it'll be nice once we have the doors on there. Oh, it's gonna look so good. I love the windows. You two wanna go out? Sit. Sit down. Tanner, sit. Go for it. We're going to New York City. Come on, this way. No loose chickens, wow. Ah, no one to count the eggs with me today. Ah, she went broody too. Two, four, six, eight, Ten, eleven, holy moly, twelve, no, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, and I don't know how many she has under her, one, eighteen. Oh, there she goes. Ready? It was nice having an extra set of hands today doing the barn build. We got a lot accomplished. I'm very happy and it's looking good with how much we've gotten done today. So another day like this and I bet you we'll have quite a bit done. I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. I don't know about where you live or not, but that heat is starting to pick up. It's chilly mornings, but it's getting pretty hot later in the day. I'd love to hear what your weather's been. Leave it in the comments down below, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.